There is a family history, but we had no idea that his father had been positive for Huntington's. All we know about his biological father was that he had passed away in the mid-90s. We started noticing some symptoms with Todd that we had absolutely no idea what was going on. He would drop things. He was grimacing and slurring his speech, just, and his shoulders would, would jerk. He kept going to his family practitioner that he was seeing at the time who said it was his thyroid. And he'd raise his medicine all the way up, and drop his medicine all the way down, then completely take it off, and nothing happened. So I finally took him to my doctor. She examined him, and her suspicion was it was MS. And she said he's, he needs to see a neurologist, and she gave us the sheet of names on that list was the Nevada School of Medicine, so that's where I called and made an appointment with a neurologist there, because I thought they would be the most knowledgeable and up-to-date. And the doctor there did an MRI and then ordered the genetic testing, and we got the concrete diagnosis. His symptoms were already pretty profound by the time we got a positive diagnosis, so it was a real blessing to be able to get him on the medication as soon as we were able to. When he initially started on Xenazine, it didn't change overnight, but as the drug assimilated into his system, he started having more control. Todd did notice a difference in his physical twitching and his head jerking especially. I don't know how aware he was of grimacing, but he was aware of the, the jerking and twitching. When he was initially diagnosed, I told him, they say this is fatal, it doesn't have to be, we're going to fight it, we're going to fight it with everything we can, we're going to learn everything we can about it and we're not going to give up. 